we arrived at Munich and uh, it was quite a nice journey, three hours max, bit of roadworks. Three hours really because we had to faff about giving the go box back in Austria. It's a very administrative system. It does work and if you want to go there and you're over three and a half tonnes you've got to comply. So, uh, because they're quite, they're quite strict with the fines and they fine you, I think it's 240 euros for every time they catch you basically. Now we're at a place where we've stayed before because we like it here. It's very convenient, it's inside of a metro station but it's a little bit unique. It's in the car park of the Bayern Munich Football Club at the Allianz Arena or the Alliance Arena, whichever way you want to pronounce it. So you can see we're parked here along with a number of vans and an English one which is they've been very few and far between which is over to my left but that's the stadium. Now tonight we should have quite a, quite a pleasure for you, presuming the lighting it up, because what they normally do at night time is light it up. It's usually red, which are the colours of Bayern Munich, but they can light it up in any colour you want. So if the German national team plays here, it's, it's um, lit up in the colours of the German national team, and they can do anything they want with it. So who knows what's on tonight? There are some stipulations. You can't stay here on a match day, and that's from 7pm the night before. And you do have to check out the full spectrum of fixtures you can't just look for the Bayern Munich first team you have to look at the under 21s you have to look at the ladies team and you have to look at um, games that may be scheduled for to be played behind closed doors so maybe pre-season that kind of thing but that's but there is a link on the website on their website that tells you about that for their fixtures but otherwise that is superb and across to my left, left is the U-Bahn station to get you into Munich you can also go into the stadium itself go into the club shop and you can do the stadium tour for 25 euros. It's quite good, we've done it before. I'll stick some pictures up, if I can find them. It is about five years ago. Um, but all in all, it's quite a pleasant experience, especially if you're a football fan or your kids are into football or, or you just like sporting venues. So what you basically do here is there's a barrier when you come in and you pull a ticket out of the machine and then you go and pay when you leave. It's 20 euros a night, including electric and as you leave in you validate your ticket paid and then obviously when you put your ticket back in the machine it lets you out there's a couple of bits and bobs here additionals there's a uh, camper clean toilet station if you need it it's all good for us because we use sol bio which would kill the active ingredient which we're not looking for oh having said that looking at it now there is another an ordinary cassette cleaning device so that's a bit better yeah on the right is the cleaning cassette if you don't want to use the mechanical machine and then there's the normal pay-as-you-go ones. We've used one of those once, they're very good actually. We use one down at um, Concierge Camping. Uh, works very well, but as I say, we don't want to kill the natural state of the tank because we're using Sol Bio, so. Which has been very good for us, to be fair. Yeah, so the normal Euro adapter electric, which is quite good. Always amazes me really how far the cables are that the European vans carry and they've obviously got a quite a good load rating because that one goes all the way there to that van over there and you see it quite a lot where the cables are just stretched across roads and there's three cables across that road down there to the vans off that point it seems to work well and not something you see in the UK but it's fairly common here you should be able to tell now that the lighting's coming on the stadium itself you're getting a pinky tinge to it that will turn into a Bayern Munich red in a very short space of time. The Allianz Arena. So there we have it, made up red. How cool is that? And this has got millions of LED lights in it and they can make it any colour that they want. So they can make it multicoloured when the German national team plays here, they make it a trickler. They can make it any colour they want. Good morning. After a great night's sleep with the arena in the background, we're off to explore Munich. First job, find the U-Bahn station. Well, we've consulted the map and we think we're heading in the right direction. A short walk around the arena brings you to the U-Bahn station. And it's also, if you come to do the stadium tour, is one of the entrances that you come in um, to meet up with your tour guide. Now we've been to Munich once before, but when we came last time, we came on the, uh, we used the bikes to get around and we visited 
the um, city centre and we also went out to the Olympic Park. But this time we've got Pops with us, so we're going to do a walking tour of Munich. If you do decide to bike it into Munich, it's about 12 kilometres and there's a really well marked cycleway um, and it's signposted all the way. Five minute walk from the van and we found the U. They do normally stand out really well. Um, if it's the U barn, it's the big U, and if it's an S, the S barn, then surprisingly, there's a big S. But now we've got the ticket machine, so we'll get tickets for me, Martin, and Pops. Yes. Well, that's work. We've managed to work out the zones we want to be in, which is all zone one, to be fair. And um, yeah, so tickets in hand, we'll go find the train. Over the walkway. I would imagine we yeah, have, yeah. 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 Because normally, both in Germany and Austria, you have to remember to validate your tickets, and there's always a ticket validation machine on here. One. One. Two. Two. There we go. And off we go. Well, Pop is ready for the train. Got a mask on. Lead on. Got Lead on. on. Mask on. No need to pay for a ticket here. It's uh, different from other places where they do require a dog to have a ticket, but you are allowed to take one dog free. If you get off at the U-Bahn at, as I've been corrected now, Marineplatz, as soon as you exit, then this is what's in front of you. And this, I think, is the town hall. And if you can see in the bell tower up there, there's, um, I think it's part of a, like a glockenspiel and on certain hours throughout the day, then everything moves. And it's quite a display, so we shall make sure we're back here for the right time. But it's a really impressive building. It's Sunday morning and we're walking around and we can hear traditional church music and we can also hear gospel church music and it sounds wonderful. One thing Munich isn't short of is brow houses. Given the fact that it has the largest beer festival in the world, the Oktoberfest, then that's not surprising. But they're scattered everywhere. So the white sausage has arrived. You get a pretzel with it and some sweet mustard but apparently what you have to do is cut into it ooh, and take the skin off and then you can eat it nice it's really nice is it mm. can I have some mm. okay you can tell this is one of the most popular things in Munich to do 
Because the crowds have gathered. Everybody knows this goes off at 11. So we're now going to just walk off our white sausage that we've had, which I have to say was fantastic, and do a little bit more exploration around the churches and some of the alleyways all around the city. Munich's another vibrant, another sophisticated city. It's got plenty of excellent public transport. There's the trams, there's the buses, the trains, you name it. Um, it's all clean, it's all accessible, plenty of bike lanes, higher scooters, and again, it's another city that's easily walkable. It's obviously dinner time. Time for the bells. We've crossed from the main streets into what's called the Hofgarten and as you can see it's a beautiful park area being used by everybody on a nice sunny Sunday afternoon. Plenty of places to get something to eat and drink and just have a gentle walk through to escape the city. And these are the old palace buildings that have now been used as government buildings. You can always escape the crowds in a city it's not a bad place to be. As I stand in front of the Bavarian State Chancellery, which is the home of the Bavarian government, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about Munich. Now, Munich is the capital of Bavaria. It's also the third largest city in Germany behind Berlin and Hamburg. It's the home to BMW. It's the home to Siemens and also man trucks. It's a great place to live. And in the last few years, it's been voted one of the top 10 cities to live for standard of living. This looks like a war memorial. And we'll be informed that uh, by Helen that the German inscription means we'll never forget. They will never be forgotten. Oh, they will never be forgotten. Okay. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I think. Because there's like a soldier underneath. There's a soldier underneath. Looks like a German soldier underneath. Yeah. As I walk down here, there's clearly what is a, a picture of a German soldier. His rifle in his hand.
So this is a uh, traditional Bavarian meal. It's beef with horseradish, potatoes and raw vegetables. And a vice beer. It's a typical Sunday dinner. Well, back on the train, 20 minutes out of uh, Munich town centre. We're back to the stadium, New Bern site. It's about a half mile walk back to the bus. Well, we've got a cup of tea with our name on. Good morning. Good morning. Well, a couple of nights in Munich. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the, the look around the place. We're getting photobombed as usual. <laughs> it's quite surprising, actually. We, 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 we get set up and it pops us down there asleep in a bed. Yes. And as soon as they sees the camera come out... As soon as the camera's come out, she's there. She's like, in there. She's, she's, she leaves us. In no uncertain circumstances do we know that she is the star of the show. It's nothing to do with us at all. Absolutely. Yeah, so we hope you enjoyed the, the look round. This is a, a good place to spot. We've written a... Um, a blog actually with some details mm. about the actual camper spot as well and I'll put the details below on our website or if you click on the uh, link tree descriptions on all our social media uh, platforms it'll get you there. We sort of think that you could do Munich in two or three days very comfortably. We haven't been to the Olympic Park this time, no. um, we did last time, uh, that's worth a, 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 a trip up there. You can either get up there on the, on the U-Bahn uh, quite easily or you can ride mm. your bike down from here um, which is what we did last time mm. uh, yeah marvel city New munich sort of beautiful city place to relax in yeah definitely and we felt safe didn't we very safe yeah very yeah. safe you could felt as if you could walk anywhere yeah. really very and, safe uh, and very welcome as yeah, well yeah 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 we were privileged to be there yesterday on a sunday because it mm. seemed as if quite a bit of bavarian tradition uh, happens the you probably saw the uh, dodgy looking white sausage uh, but that was particularly it tasted tasty great yeah it, i know it looked like it needed about another six hours on a barbecue but it tasted fantastic yeah it's, it wasn't that sort of it's the same sort of thing as a, a bit of lancashire white pudding really it just yeah. looks a strange thing but yeah, tastes great tastes great um, so yeah we would definitely recommend trying that and uh, it was all good so we're going to move on today mm. i'm going to move into a part of bavaria which used to be called franconia uh, we've come across, and that seems to be important to the locals. It, mm. it's, we were in Würzburg, which is also in Franconia, a couple of years ago. And they called themselves Franconians mm. first and then Bavarians second. It, it's almost like a, where the borders were redrawn somehow in some kind of, um, you know, district area mm. reshuffle. Um, yeah, it's get the same thing in Yorkshire if you start talking about Middlesbrough and... Um, the East Ridings. East Ridings, yeah. and these things still stand yeah. in people's minds and they seem to be quite... Um, you know, embed embedded with them and quite quite uh, committed to them. So, so Franconia next, and we think it's going to be a little gem. We haven't been no, here before. No, no we're back no. to trying new places now. Um, as I said, we, we said before, Salzburg and Munich are the only two places mm. where we've revisited on mm. this tour. Um, but uh, but it looks on paper to be great. So I hope you'll enjoy it, and we'll see you in the next one. Martin out. Helen out.